In this video, we're going to take a look at our Snakesys control environment. The Snakesys control environment is ideal for both architectural and show lighting control. It features multiple different input sources, so things like our 10 scene wall plates, and also remote triggers, so this can be DMX input or contact close type triggers. And the Snakesys control environment works with both MagicQ and QuickQ systems. It's ideal for both architectural lighting, conference rooms, gyms, quiz shows where you might need multiple triggers, shops, bars and other installations. The system features, as well as products like our 10 scene wall plates, things like time of day, calendar and event triggering as well. It features contact triggers and zoning for breaking one room up into multiple zones. So let's take a look at some of the products in the Snakesys control environment. We start with our 10 scene wall plates. These are supplied in dual packs and supplied with both the black and white fronts and face plates for them. They feature 10 illuminated dual colour 10 scene buttons. They have a red and a blue LED to show the status whether an item is active or not. They're wired using a simple four wire system using our 10 seam protocol and they're wired using standard Cat5 cable. You can daisy chain wall plates together but if you have a single wall plate you can run it on up to a thousand meters of Cat5 cable. If you daisy chain wall plates together you can have up to 10 wall plates in any chain of 10 seam wall plates on up to 300 meters of cable if you have 10 networked together. The Tensing connects to various different products of ours. It connects directly to products like our Quickie Rack, which features four Tensing ports. So up to 40 of our Tensing wall plates can be connected to this system. We also have our Tensing gateway interface, which is used as our interface to convert our Tensing protocol to our Camsys remote protocol to connect to either a MagicQ or QuickQ system. This features two Tensing ports for connection of up to 20 Tensing wall plates and each one of those 10 scene ports is a contact trigger as well. So on the 10 scene gateway, two contact triggers that can be linked to something like a fire alarm or remote triggers for a quiz show. We also have our 10 scene application. The 10 scene app is available for iOS and Android, Windows and Mac as well. The 10 scene app duplicates the same function available on your 10 scene wall plates and also allows for zone selection as well. The 10 scenes can be connected via the gateway to either a MagicQ console, MagicQ PC system, or a QuickQ system as well. And we'll show you now some of the different setups and typical configurations. So here we've got a QuickQ console with a 10 scene gateway and some 10 scene wall plates connected directly to the system. Our QuickQ console is controlling house lighting and the show lighting together with our wireless network allowing our 10 scene remote app and our gateway giving our 10 scene uh, triggers and interfaces which can be controlling either playbacks or executes on our QuickQ system. On the next setup we've got here, we've got more of a fixed installation. So we've got ourselves a QuickQ rack, maybe with one of our nodes connected as well, so outputting ArtNet to a node or direct DMX controlling our architectural lighting, with our 10 scene wall plates again around the venue controlling the lighting. In this system now, we've now added a QuickQ rack and a QuickQ console together. Our QuickQ rack is on 24-7 and controlling our house lighting. The QuickQ console is, is powered up uh, when there's a show going on, controlling show lighting and architectural fixed lighting. The rack works in a hot takeover mode, so when I power on my show controller, it takes over from the rack and controls the house lighting. When I power off the console, I'm now just running back on the QuickQ system. We're now looking at a MagicQ control system, where we can have something like a MagicQ console or a MagicQ PC system, again controlling both show lighting and architectural lighting uh, with a gateway and wall plates providing triggers to that system. The system also supports zoning on both QuickQ or MagicQ. So looking at the system we've got here, we've got a QuickQ rack and maybe we're controlling a ballroom where we've got our 10 scene wall plates. And in that system, maybe your ballroom has got an air wall that goes in and out. So we allow zoning uh, around the different doors or areas of that room. So you could put your air wall in and you maybe you've got a wall plate each side of that air wall by each door and now you can say split the room and say this wall plate's controlling the lighting on that side of the room only and vice versa on the other side. QuickQ allows up to 10 different zones. The zoning can be turned on and off by various different triggers so it could be a contact trigger inside the air wall itself so that's an automated system. The air wall goes in, the zone splits, the air wall comes out and the wall plates control all of the lighting combined again. MagicQ also supports zoning as well, and you have more zones available on a MagicQ system 
and even more flexible configuration of your wall plates where they completely can be customized in their configuration. In this series of videos, we're now gonna look at how you can wire up your 10 seam wall plates and the various different configurations with both MagicQ and QuickQ systems for the different control environments.